Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, and yes, I am back again. I'm back again because I want to share with you some information that has helped me to see, helped get the scales off of my eyes, and I'm hoping that perhaps it might be able to help you. What we have heard one say we were going to clean the swamp. You were going to go down on Washington and Wall Street, and you were going to clean the, the swamp. Now, the last time I heard someone say that, it is, <laughs> it proved to be strange because everything that was associated with the administration appeared to be at one time or another dangling in the swamp with all kinds of legal problems, all kinds of violations against the people and the laws and, and criminal, that's pure D criminals. The one that was going to clean the swamp brought all the swampers, the best ones, the most deceitful ones around to protect the voice. Well, now, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm always trying to say something relative to compassion and respect and decency. And I do that. I, I used to spend most of my time calling it God, and I still do. But I have seen the world out here who call themselves speaking for God, pimp God in such a way, it's just distasteful until I can understand why everybody who knew nothing about God can hate and have no desire to know anything about God by the way God has been dangling before the people by those who call themselves speaking for God. And so I try to refer to it as a, the spirit you can't see because you definitely cannot see. But everything that you can see is indication and is evidence that that power exists. So I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about the Constitution of the United States. It kind of molds what this capitalist democracy is all about. And if you just break it down, disobey it, then what you thought you had, you do not have any longer. And that is what was trying to happen with Donald Trump. He came in with an agenda to do just that by speaking lies before he came in, lying his way in, lying all the way while in, and lying when they're trying to throw him out, hoping that people will be so confused and so messed up in their thinking that they don't know what to do. But because he exerts power with his lies, they might just follow him because of the way he presents himself. <clears throat> well, that is something that you can <laughs> that can happen. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, who wants to go and drain the swamp of the church? What is the church really supposed to be, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I don't know what you have been told, but let me share with you what I see the church be, especially with the outcome that I see. I see that church being a group of people who have lived in the world and for some strange reason or not, have a desire to be better than what they are being taught, be better than what they see around them, and look for a philosophy or some way of thinking that would share with them their desire, their lust. <clears throat> And I can think of one thing that has been good for me, and that was the information about the spiritual world, information about the powers that be that we can't see, information about God. Now that opens up a door for you to do all kinds of things. But if you want to think about it in a sense of God, then you have to think about something being more special than what we see around us, because what we see around us is man. And we see all kinds of confusion. That's man. So God cannot be about confusion. We see the expression of hate. Well, that can't be God. God got to be about the opposite of love. God has got to be all of the good things that we all want and that we all seek and desire. So well, a church member is one who has seen the light and chooses the light. If the Constitution works within the light, then the Constitution is fine. If the Constitution does not, then the Constitution is not fine. If parts of the Constitution is okay in the light, 
then that part of the Constitution is fine. Nevertheless, the light is the light, and the light shines in the middle so that darkness cannot exist. This is why those who say that they know the Spirit of God, they know it because they understand that God is love. They understand what love means because they love themselves and they want the best for themselves and everything for themselves. And at the same time, understanding and appreciating that, that's the way they feel about everybody else. Got that same feeling. And the only way we've, we've found out that in the world that can't work when everybody got and everybody going at. So how do you do it? <clears throat> you allow that same spirit to live in each one of you. That same spirit live in each one of you. And you become that same love to one another. You become the great gift of God's love to one another, whereby you will live in peace. You don't have to lie and cheat and steal. You will be prosperous because the love that you give, your one little love going out to 8 million and 8 billion coming back to you. That's a heck of a lot of love. And the love that you give is your joy. It is your greatest joy because it explains, it tells the world who you are. And the world loves you because the world needs you, wants you, and desires you, my friend. And after that, the fulfillment of your dreams, life is fulfilled. Now, that is the church. That is the concept. That is the precept. That is what the church is going for. And it's telling that a world of darkness is telling the United States of America is telling the world that your systems fall short of this. And this is where you should be. This is where you were meant to be. Yes, you have made a decision. You have chosen to live in a capitalist democracy and it falls short of this. You can call this any kind of name you want to call it because you don't know it. You can call it socialism. You can call it communism. You can call it anything you want to call it because you don't know what you're talking about. But we're telling you this is heaven on earth. And all you have to do is to change your way and allow the spirit, as I have just articulated right here, to live in you as we, the church. And my friends, that will give you. Now, having grown to this, any law that violates that what this would provide is supposed to be disobeyed. It is supposed to be disobeyed, not going along with, not, well, I'm not going to rock the boat. You're supposed to rock the boat. You're not supposed to go along with anything that violates love. You're not supposed, let me say it again, go along with anything that violates love. Now, let's ask you this. Are there people out here in America today and in across the world, but in America, without food, without clothing and shelter, is it? I think the answer is yes. So what does that say about America? It's a heck of a lot. Ooh, it doesn't even come close to the way love is. Ask yourself, are people having problems with education? Do they have access to it? Does it flow it? The, the, what's the problem? Do they are there problems in education? And I, you know, the answer is yes. So what does that say about America? What does that say about the world? You falling short. You falling short. Healthcare. Well, you know what we're doing with healthcare. It's just pathetic the way healthcare operates, cost, lack of, all of these things. So what does that say? That says that America is falling short. And what about employment? You got millions of people unemployed. You got people with these problems with wages. You got costs. What does that say? That says that America is falling short because these problems do not exist when you start exercising different principles of life. These things don't exist. You don't have to lie. You don't have to hate. There's no need for racism or bigotry. So this being the case, why do you continue to preach about a God that requires somebody to plant a seed of $1,000 or more so they can get more money? That's a crook. That's a snake in your way. What if somebody telling you you're being blessed and just sit back and wait on the blessings of God? That's a lie and a crook.
a snake in your way. So what am I saying to you? If you are a member of the spirit of love, what I've just explained to you is what you are about. That's love. Or in a situation that you might not even be familiar with at this moment in time, when you are confined with it, you look for love in it. And that's the path you take. That's being a member. And if you're going to talk about the spirit that you can't see, then you got to know what you're talking about. And what is this speaking? It is saying that every individual in this country and in the, on this earth, but in this country right now, should have access to everything that they need. Want or desire. Should. Without a shadow of doubt. Because that's what our business here is to do. Is to assure that to one another. Not to be ripped off and help somebody else. Rip somebody else off. Making them superior king, queen, uh, pharaoh, president. Or whatever you want to call them. Or white supply. Ah oh, man. Come on. Come on now. Stop acting crazy. Now if your preacher is not telling you. That everybody should have their problems resolved and that it is the responsibility and your duty as a child of God to take care of that. If they're not telling you that, hey, that's because they are in the swamp and you should not be listening to them. These guys out there, look here, supporting Donald Trump and Donald Trump that you know he's about evil. But they're in the pulpit preaching to people about God and they're supporting Donald Trump. What does that tell you about them? The same thing it tells you about this country. And it explains to you why the country is like it is. Because people who tell the truth get shot down, get assassinated. Get assassinated. Yeah, when you stand up and tell the truth, they kill you. Why? Because they don't want you here. They want to keep on living in hell. And so people say, well, God understands. And God knows my heart. God don't know your heart. You stand there if you believe it. If stand there if you deserve it. And if they shoot you, let them shoot you. You're going to sit back and say, God knows you. People are getting shot down for standing up for truth. People get shot down so the, other, so the rest of the world can know what love is. And you standing up talking about God knows your heart while you ducking. And we know what ducking means. Ducking means you falling in line. When the, when the devil say jump, you say how high, how high. Preaching about God. Yeah. Now you know who you are. And everybody else knows exactly who you are. The question is, are they going to keep on honoring you? Or are they going to grow up without you? Think about it. 